Hey everyone, my name's Drew, and we're here. This is going to be week number three, I believe, of the NCP Nimbus Wi-Fi Division, and we're up against JB Westside and his Arkansas Razor Wings, I believe, and this is going to be a really, really stressful matchup, but um, it's going to be a fun one, I think. I'm just going to get right into it. He has a very, very scary team. Um, primarily, he has a Cinderace, which is the second Cinderace that I'm actually facing today, because I just finished up my APA Academy match, and I believe I'll have two Cinderaces on the same weekend. But here we go, we see the Mr. Rhyme, Seismitoad, Terrakion, Heliolisk, uh, Cinderace, and Aromatisse. So all the things that I was scared that I was scared of, I kind of thought Berserker had a solid chance to come. No Delmize is bananas to me. Wow, no Delmize is really, really interesting to me. Um, what else? No Braviary. I, wow, he loves his Scarf Braviary, but, uh, yeah, that's super interesting. That's super interesting. It helps out my Sylveon a lot. A lot, a lot. No Berserker. I thought Berserker had a decent chance just because of my Sylveon and maybe could have built some kind of heat set. Uh, no Drampa is pretty expected, but still interesting. Now, honestly, you can, you, you guys can see. Uh, I have the Power Herb. Um, I have the Power Herb Dragapult. I really want to catch this Eismatoad slipping. Oh, heck, I didn't. Mm, I didn't catch a screenshot of the team. It's fine. I'll do that in a second. But, um, I really do think I can catch Seismitoad off guard if it leads. And I, and I think he's going to want to lead off with it. He, um, I think he would value rocks, especially since my removal is so bad and I don't have a removal at all this week. Um, it does lead off with the Seismitoad. So, I don't know. Again, I have tried this so many times. Uh, in this generation, this will be my third time packing so, uh, Power of Solar Beam. And it's never 100% worked out for me. But, uh, I'm going to try to see if I can make it work this time. Uh, I think he would value rocks in this matchup, just in general. But, I'm not even going to think about it that much. I'm just going to... Click the solar beam button. We'll see if it, we'll see if this works out. Does he stay in here? He... D oh my god! I'm 0 for 3 on Power Herb Solar Beam. I'm so heckin' upset. Alright, it's fine, it's fine. I cannot, mm, I'm pretty upset, I'm pretty upset, I'm not gonna lie, but it's fine, th th this Aromatisse is here, I can, what does this mean that I can do, that still does re pretty respectable damage, I think I'm gonna try to U-turn out into my Arcanine here, I think I'm just gonna try to U-turn out into Arcanine here. I wanted that to work so badly, and I really don't have great checks to size with just in general. But you know what? We're gonna make it work. We're gonna make it work. Pulls a double, as I can just U-turn out now. So that's gonna be pretty helpful, but does go out into the... Into this thing. I'm not sure what he expected me to do here. But does go out into the Terrakion, right? Which... I don't know. I don't know what it allows me to do. I can go out into this thing, but then what does that invite in? What does that invite in? It probably just invites in the Seismitoad. I can Toxic the Seismitoad. That's probably optimal, right? That's probably optimal. It's, it's either that or I go into Sylveon and I pretty much hard reveal Scarf, but I think that's fine. I think I'm going to do that. Hmm. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I have to imagine that I always KO here. I'm now by all means it could be Roselli Berry or something absolutely crazy, but I think this is gonna be okay here. And I know this thing doesn't get soundproof. Hope, I, hopefully nothing on his team gets soundproof. I don't know. Does Mr. Rhyme get soundproof and I just never knew about it? Because that would be really disheartening. <laughs> what are Mr. Rhyme's abilities? Um, Ice Body, Tangled Feet, and Screen Cleaner. I mean, regardless, this is going to do pretty big damage to something on his team. I don't think anything really wants to switch in here. Especially with no Berserker, but Berserker would have been hit hard by this too. Does withdraw. Goes out into Cinderace. That's 
that's pretty expected. And Cinderace is going to have a pretty solid time against whatever I want to bring in here. But, um, I think I'm fine just doing this. I probably, mm, I probably should have... Okay, so I'm really, really fearful of a uh, Super Fang Cinderace. I think it just tears through my team, to be honest with you. And I think, uh, yeah, just Super Fang, High Jump Kick, Pyro Ball. does so much work to my team. I really struggle against it. Um, I... I matched up against Cinderace er er earlier today. Watch NCP for that. But um, I don't... He, he, he chose not to bring Super Fang in that matchup. But if if he has Super Fang, then I'm kind of not doing great. But I can bring in the Rhydon. We do see the U-turn. That's uh, that's totally fair enough. Totally fair enough. Can bring in the Seismic Toad. And that is absolutely free rocks. That is absolutely free rocks. But I also think that that's a free Sylveon play. I also think that's a free Sylveon play. Potentially. I knew, man, I really knew that I should have just, um... That I should have just clicked, uh... Hyper Voice again. How do I want to play this? How do I want to play this? i probably just go into this thing, right? I feel like this is reasonably no drawback. My team doesn't struggle too, too much with Ross. It's just not great for me. Yeah, the only... I guess, um, it's not a... Wow! That's absolute worst-case scenario. That's pretty bad for me. That's pretty bad for me. Okay. Well, now what do I do? That's really bad. I can counter Toxic, but... It's... Man, this is so bad! And I honestly thought about going into... Going into Kaparaja too, but... Mm, it's really bad. It's really, really bad. But... What can I do now? I think. Hmm. What can I do now? I think I can go out into. Probably does really want to go out into, into the Copperage here, but a ground move feels like his play right now. I'm probably just going to Sylveon here. Yeah, I'm going to go into Sylveon here. I think it does switch out. I don't know what that is. That's going to be the Heliolisk. Heliolisk. Uh, we do decently well against a Heliolisk. What if it's a Specs Heliolisk? Uh, we do decently well against the Specs Heliolisk. Yeah, I'm just gonna click Hyper Voice. I think that's reasonably no drawback. I mean, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. So here, I just pretty much confirm, confirm Scarf. But he honestly doesn't even have it's Life Orb. But he honestly doesn't even have the best switches into this. And Heliolisk is a huge, huge problem for for my team just in general. Um. What would a switch and B to this? Cinderace, pro obviously. Honestly, if Cinderace... Man, if Cinderace comes in, would I... Hyper Voice again? I think ultimately he has to give me a Pokemon unless he... Try unless he lets his Cinderace get worn down. Um... But at the same time, Rhydon is really solid in, in these situations. Also, I... Um, a potential play is, is Arcanine as well. So I guess we can see how that does, but does withdraw. He can go into the Cinderace, and I think he should know by now that sin that I don't outspeed Cinderace, even if I am Scarfed. But this still does a very respectable amount of damage. 
and it, lo it looks like a 3 KO is iffy right now, but I really think he would want to... Um, does he ever high jump kick with my Dragapult in the back? Does he ever high jump kick with my Dragapult in the back? I don't know. I think he always clicks U-turn until my Dragapult's gone. But then this allows in the Seismitoad, and then I probably just go into... Hmm. If I go into... No. How do I play this? How do I play this? How do I play this? Okay, if I can if I can beat the if I can beat this Cinderace into staying in, even if even if it does click high jump kick, then I think I can beat him into wanting to click U turn next turn, and I can KO with an extreme speed. I think that's how I should play this. Cinderace, let's go for the Pyro Ball. Interesting. We avoid the Pyro Ball. Okay, uh, that's pretty unfortunate. But I wonder if he would expect me. To want to go for the extreme speed right now. Wow, extreme speed is not even a KO right now. That's pretty bad as far as bad things go. But, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see what type of damage we get off. Um, extreme speed was also for some. Oh, extreme speed also really helps out a lot with the Heliolisk, uh, as well. It does withdraw, so it doesn't even. Um, oh, it could also be banded. That's probably. That's potentially why, um, it played that a little bit more conservatively. But now, this what, what having this thing in does is it should allow me to to pretty freely go into my Lodic and at least get a and at least swap in and out with a with a recover. I can get healthier with recover, which I think is going to be important because I'm already down what like 20% HP, which is not ideal right now. And getting up just a little bit healthier would be pretty important for me, I think. Although, I do really need rocks up pretty soon. That'd be pretty helpful pretty darn soon. Um, but this Hyzmatoad is always going to make rocks for me difficult here. Let's go for the Earth Power, which uh, is what I expected to happen, but we take that like champ. And it's going to rack up a, a little bit of Toxic, but more importantly, it's going to give me an opportunity... Well, no, I probably should double because of the... Uh, no, he, yeah, no, I think the way he's going to play this, he, he's going to know that I need to recover here. So, I think I have to make a double. I think I have to make a double. So, I think... I probably have to put on pressure with my... With my... With my... Sylveon. I think that's the only way that I make it out of this inter interaction... Um, in better shape than I left it. Goes for another Earth Power. That is bananas. He was giving me... He was giving me... Um... He was giving me... A recover for absolutely free. Like, no drawback recover. That's wild to me. And, and allowing... Uh, toxic damage to rack up, but... Getting rid of this is pretty huge. It is pretty huge. Now I believe my Rhydon can pretty freely maneuver around. Grass not going to be an issue, obviously. But um, it's at least going to give me a chance to get a Brox at some point in the matchup. Um, this thing does come in, which is a huge problem. Actually, is it? Well, no. This thing would have to be Scarfed in order to be a problem. So I think this just reveals Scarf on this thing. But... This is going to be... Yeah, yeah, we're going to be put in, in really interesting positions where we have to... Where I have to call whether or not he's going to want a Stone Edge or a Close Combat. I think... I think at least the first time I'm going to try to make this play. We're going to see how this goes. So, this is making the Team Cop make a lot more sense to me. So, that so if this thing is Scarf, that means the Cinderace is probably banded, which is why uh, it, it hasn't been switching up moves yet. Um, and... I, th I think he's going to try to catch me off guard with the Close Combat play here. Um, even though Stone Edge does, obviously... Yeah, okay, okay. So, he's either bluffing, or he's going to be forced to switch out, obviously. And... Would dropping a Draco be... Solid here? 
No, I think I have to click U-turn here. I have, I have to get myself in a solid matchup. I have to get myself in a solid matchup here. But honestly, knowing that this thing is scarfed um, is pretty significant, in particular for my... For my... Um, for my... What's, what's it called? It's pretty significant for, for my, my loaded, is what I was going for. I think I just straight up go out into... Um... This thing... I mean, nothing really wants to switch into this. His team is weakened enough where a lot of things just drop to this. And um, I am extra belt because I thought about Aka, I thought about Chapa, but if but if um, either the either the Cinderace or the Terrakion are banded, then it's never going to make a difference. Um, I think I really want to click South Rocks, but I don't think I don't think you would want to preserve anything, especially because this thing does massive damage to whatever wants to come in. But I think I have to take it. I think getting the, the Aromatisse down is would be huge for me. He does swap out into Mr. Rhyme. So I think this is a sack because... Uh, yeah, I don't think there was any way that, that it was going to take a Heavy Slam. So this does allow in whatever he wants, honestly. But in particular, the Cinderace and the Terrakion are problematic for me. Hugely problematic for me. But, okay, the fact that this thing comes in, man, I honestly think, I honestly think, he clicks U-turn right now. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I mean, this is, this is so risky. I really need my Copperaja. I mean, I really need my Copperaja. Like, desperately need my Copperaja. But, I'm gonna take the, yes, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna get a huge, huge heavy slam off on something. That is ginormous. Or was a crit U-turn. Um, I think this is a KO right now. I don't think the healer list can take it. Terrakion, maybe, but that's going to be dubious. Uh, and Aromatisse definitely drops. This is a KO, I think, no matter what happens. I think he's essentially picking a sack right now. I think he's essentially picking a sack right now. This should be sacked off. He's... These are the coronavirus kind of uh, provisions here. Got to get, got to stock up on the, on the, on the big boy bottles just to last a bit. Um, so no Heliolisk helps out. I mean, it helps out my load like a very large amount, but I think he's gonna want to bring in Terrakion. Yeah, that's. I think that's Terrakion. Yeah, it is Terrakion. Okay. So with the Terrakion in. Um, I think, yeah, I think he's going to want a Stone Edge this time. I think he's going to want a Stone Edge this time. And really, the, the only way that I beat this Terrakion is if I make the calls right between Stone Edge and Close Combat every time. That's really the only way that I make it. He does Close Combat. So, he knows as much as anybody that I can very freely bring in my, my, my Dragapult. So, I kind of think he switches out here, but even if he does, even if he does, man, Stealth Rocking might be the play here. I think Stealth Rocking is the play. I think he's going to want to want to bring in the Aromatisse. Exactly. I think he's going to want to bring in the Aromatisse to deal with my Dragapult because the Dragapult play is super obvious right now. So we do get the rocks up, which is going to help out a little bit. But more importantly, I can get a heavy slam off on this thing, which uh, should should by every indication be two KO, and it helps with the Cinderace. Um, now Cinderace is in a position where it gets KO'd by Extreme Speed on my Arcanine, and now we can start making some things happen. And even if this thing takes out my Rhydon, even if this thing takes out my Rhydon, all that this allows me to do is bring in my my Milotic and get a pretty darn free. Um, recover off right now. And I can sack off most things in order to keep my Milotic healthy. Um, 
Because that's what I really need in this endgame to make everything work. That's what I need more than anything in this endgame to make everything work. I need a healthy Milotic. And I need Arcanine up. And probably... And Dragapult. Those are really the pieces that I need. He might want to wish up, which would be pretty bad for me, in all honesty. But I think I can catch him on a turn where... Man, I probably should have just clicked Toxic this turn. Because he's going to want to wish, and then he could uh, recover up next turn. But having this thing Toxic would be pretty huge. Let's go for the wish. Um, I don't think he would want to pass a wish right now. Especially not to the last two mons in the back. But... He's probably just going to want to protect right now. I think. But if that is the case, then I think... I think that would allow it a, a turn for me to go in and out into this thing. I would be amazed if he goes out into the Cinderace. I think Cinderace would be... Obviously, going into Cinderace would be pretty bad, but I don't see any situation where he makes that play right now. I don't see any situation where he makes that play right now. Um... Let's go for the protect. That's dope. And then again, this is a this is a situation where I net a KO no matter what happens because there's no way he takes a heavy slam and whatever wants to come in is gonna get is gonna drop to a heavy slam. So my positioning is interesting. My positioning is interesting. I just I need to make certain things work. I think, man, I don't know. I think my positioning is good. But, there's so much that needs to go well for me to make everything happen the way that I need it to. It does drop. It's another KO for my Copperaja, but this is this is um, the end of the my Copperaja used from this. I don't think it's going to pick up any more KOs. I think from now on, um, whatever comes in, I, I get sacked. I sack the Copperaja. And... If it's a Cinderace, then Arcanine comes in. If it's the... If it's a Terrakion, then he gives me information as, as to what movie goes for, and then I can play off of that. Um, and, but but regardless, once I get sacked off, then my um, my Lota can probably deal with it. Actually, T T Terrakion would allow in my... My... Terrakion would allow in... Yeah, exactly. Um... So yeah, I just click Heavy Slam. I have no other play right now. So Cinderace allows in my Arcanine. And actually, this, this is helpful because my Arcanine is absolutely useless uh, for the rest of this matchup, right? So I think what happens is that my Arcanine comes in. It threatens the... It, it threatens the... The Cinderace. He has no reason to switch out because it, this thing just get, gets KO'd uh, on Rock's re-entry. And then... And then... Um, I don't think any single hit... KOs... Well, well, then he has to lock into Stone Edge, because then he loses to Dragapult, and I hope I take... I hope Dragapult takes a, takes, a, takes a Stone Edge, but regardless, I go into my Melodic, I take a hit, I try to Scald, and I think that's my path right now. I think that's my path right now. But regardless, regardless, my Arcanine can get some chip damage off with an, with an Extreme Speed um, on this Terrakion, and I think... I think we can pull this game off. Um, this was a hugely stressful matchup. Uh, again, I think... I think Delmize had a much, much, much better matchup than Rhyme did, but he probably just wanted removal. Especially since Cinderace wasn't boots, and, um, because... And he, he probably had a larger strategy of how he wanted this matchup to go. But, um, I'm gonna take whatever chip damage I, I can take because I need my Milotic to kind of close this out for me. If he has some crazy, um... Does a miss a Stone Edge? If he, if he has some crazy um, tech move, I probably should have gone for Toxic because um, missing Stone Edge is reasonably uh, likely, and and uh, this probably helps me out in, in the longer run, no matter what happens. So I probably should have just gone for that. We avoid another one as I do get a Toxic off, and this is probably going to take a while. But uh, I guess what are we going to do? I can switch out this Arcanine just to try to. Um, just to try to get an in, get a pocket intimidate happening, and then I can still get some damage off later on in the match. But what would I sack off in this moment? I guess I have to try to uh, make sure. But I do want to see. 
is Scarfed Terrakion. Uh, oh, I can I can sack off this thing. I can just sack off because this thing is definitely not going to do anything for the rest of this matchup. So a Scarf Terrakion. Oh, we should actually take a Stone Edge from a Scarf Terrakion. I mean, I mean, we, we probably don't on Rocks reentry, but um, it's actually reasonable that we do. Uh, it looks like Dragapult can come in and we can take one. Actually, I should assume Adamant. I should definitely assume Adamant. But I think now we're at the point where... Where my Lodic Scald can just clean up this match. And if not, then then uh, Toxic Racking Up should do it as well. But uh, yeah, it looks like Stone Edge is doing a quarter at most. So again, this was a very very stressful build, a very very stressful, um, a very very stressful way to have to play this. But uh, thankfully, we made it through. I cannot believe we cannot catch a break with 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 um with our power herb kind of plays here. But it's it's fine. We're gonna make it through, and that is going to be this week of the NCP. We do win our second matchup. We we'll go two and one. And like I said, um, this has been a stressful day. I, I played my APA match just a little bit ago. I, I played a Cinderace there as well. And that was incredibly stressful. But yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching. And please do also watch that APA match. Like I said, I played it like maybe an hour ago. And uh, it was a lot of fun. Again, a very, very stressful Cinderace, a very, very stressful Drake result. But uh, go check that out, please. But yeah, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, we'll be back with more weeks of the NCP. The APA will play also be coming up really, really soon. And weeks of the APA are being put out right the heck now actually i believe apa is available right now uh if you just check out on the channel but yeah once again thank you guys so much for watching that's gonna be for me and i will be once again out